Imagine a killer so cunning, so elusive, that he taunts police and media with cryptic messages and remains unidentified for decades. A chilling figure who terrorized Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s, leaving a trail of unsolved murders in his wake. This is the story of the Zodiac Killer. Welcome to Crime Quickie, where we explore the captivating world of crime stories. We're your hosts, Paige Turner and Lucy Fur. In today's episode, we will take a look at the enigmatic and terrifying Zodiac Killer, whose crimes have baffled investigators for more than half a century. Join us as we delve into the mysterious case of this notorious serial killer. To understand the story of the Zodiac Killer, we must first step back in time to the late 1960s, a period marked by social and political turmoil. It was during this time that a series of brutal murders began to unfold in Northern California, with the first confirmed killings attributed to the Zodiac occurring in December of 1968. The unknown killer targeted young couples, often in secluded locations, using a variety of methods to carry out his attacks. This unpredictable nature, combined with his eerie ability to avoid capture, struck fear into the hearts of Californians. But it wasn't just the brutal murders that set the Zodiac Killer apart from other criminals of his time. What truly made him stand out was his macabre penchant for communicating with the media and law enforcement, sending a series of cryptic letters and ciphers that both taunted and terrified those who received them. These communications not only provided chilling insights into the mind of the killer but also served to amplify the public's fear and fascination with the case. The first confirmed Zodiac killings took place on the night of December 20, 1968, when high school students Betty Lou Jensen and David Faraday were found shot dead on a secluded road in Vallejo, California. This brutal and seemingly random attack marked the beginning of the Zodiac's reign of terror. The killer struck again on July 4, 1969, targeting another young couple, Darlene Farron and Mike Majo, who were parked in a lover's lane in Vallejo. While Majo miraculously survived multiple gunshot wounds, Farron tragically succumbed to her injuries. Just one month later, on August 1, 1969, the Zodiac Killer sent his first letters to three different newspapers, the Vallejo Times-Herald, the San Francisco Chronicle, and the San Francisco Examiner. Each letter contained a cryptogram, which the killer claimed held the key to his identity. He demanded that the newspapers publish the ciphers on their front pages, or else he would go on a killing spree. As panic gripped the region, the newspapers complied with the Zodiac's demands, and amateur and professional codebreakers alike scrambled to decipher the ciphers. Incredibly, within days, a schoolteacher named Donald Hardin and his wife, Betty, managed to crack one of the codes. However, instead of revealing his identity, the Zodiac's message only provided a chilling glimpse into his twisted psyche, stating that he killed for pleasure and to collect slaves for the afterlife. The Zodiac's deadly spree continued, with the killer striking again on September 27, 1969. This time, the victims were college students Brian Hartnell and Cecilia Shepard, who were picnicking at Lake Berryessa in Napa County, California. The Zodiac, wearing a hooded costume with his signature symbol, approached the couple, tied them up, and stabbed them multiple times. Hartnell miraculously survived the brutal attack, but Shepard died from her injuries. Just two weeks later, on October 11, 1969, the Zodiac targeted cab driver Paul Stein in San Francisco's upscale Presidio Heights neighborhood. After shooting Stein in the head, the killer took the cab driver's wallet, car keys, and a piece of his bloodied shirt, which he later sent to the San Francisco Chronicle as proof of his involvement in the murder. As the body count rose, so did the Zodiac's notoriety. He continued to send taunting letters to the media, including a particularly chilling message in which he threatened to target a school bus and pick off the kitties as they come bouncing out. The terror that the Zodiac Killer instilled in the public was palpable, with people living in fear of his next move. Despite the best efforts of law enforcement, the Zodiac Killer proved incredibly difficult to catch. Investigators were often left grasping at straws, with few solid leads and a mounting sense of frustration. 
Over the years, the Zodiac claimed responsibility for numerous other murders, although the veracity of these claims remains uncertain. To this day, only five confirmed murders and two survivors are directly linked to the Zodiac Killer. Throughout the years, numerous suspects have been investigated in connection with the Zodiac killings. However, the lack of concrete evidence and the passage of time have made it exceedingly difficult for authorities to pinpoint the true identity of the killer. Some of the most notable suspects include Arthur Lee Allen, a Vallejo schoolteacher who was the subject of a search warrant in 1971, and Richard Gajkowski, a newspaper editor with alleged connections to some of the Zodiac's cryptograms. Despite these and other leads, no suspect has ever been definitively linked to the crimes. In recent years, advancements in DNA technology and forensic analysis have provided some hope for potentially identifying the Zodiac Killer. In 2018, investigators revealed that they were working to extract a DNA profile from the stamps and envelopes used by the Zodiac in his letters, with the hope of using genealogy databases to track down potential relatives and, ultimately, the killer himself. As of now, however, the Zodiac Killer's identity remains a mystery. The Zodiac Killer case remains one of the most notorious unsolved mysteries in American history, with countless theories, suspects, and potential clues that have yet to lead to a definitive answer. Despite the passage of more than five decades, the case continues to captivate the public's imagination, and the search for the elusive Zodiac Killer goes on. The chilling story of the Zodiac Killer serves as a haunting reminder of the darkness that can lurk in the shadows of society. With his brutal murders, cryptic messages, and enduring mystery, the Zodiac has left an indelible mark on the annals of true crime. As we continue to search for answers and hope for a resolution to this terrifying saga, the Zodiac Killer's reign of terror remains a stark testament to the devastating impact that one individual's actions can have on countless lives. That's it for this episode of Crime Quickie. A quick preview of our next episode. Picture this, a carefully orchestrated heist, carried out with military precision, leaving authorities baffled for years. That's precisely what transpired in one of the most famous robberies in American history. Today, we'll explore the thrilling and captivating story of the Brinks robbery.